hope all of you are doing good in this video i will show you how you can add the discount price on a product page for example here in this product you can see that there is a, a discount price over here so we have strike the original price and then we want to show the customer the discounted price and also give showing them a tag that the product is on sale so the same thing should show on the uh, product listing page also or the collection page here also when the customer comes into the collection page they can see that we have uh, a discounted price over here we striked off the original price and then we are showing the discounted price and also to get the customer's attention we have added a sale tag over here so that the customer knows that this product is on sale now i will show you how this is achieved from the shopify backend to do that choose the product on which you want to offer a discounted rate if the product is having multiple variants then you have to choose each individual variant and add the discounted rate so first let me take this small and then you can click on this edit button which is over here click on edit and here in the pricing tab you can see that there are two text fields called one is called price and one is called compare at price so this is where we will be doing the editing to show the sale price so the price failed is actually the original price that you are selling into the customer whether it be the discount or uh, whether it be without the discount so whatever we enter in the price field will be collected from the customer uh, when they purchase the product okay now we want to offer this product for a price of 200 dirhams for the customer so what we should do we should make this 200 because whatever is in the price field will be the price collected from the customer now for us to show the discounted price there is a field called compare at price field over here we have to add what was the previous price of the product over here so the previous product price was 250 so we need to add the previous price over here and the after price or the price which we will be selling the product to the customer at the price field and then you can click on save so now we are in the product page and you can see that for the size small we have got the prices that we have added the discounted price and the original price is showing uh striked off okay now now if i go to the medium size you can see that the price have not updated the discounted price is not showing so this is very crucial you have to be very careful while adding the discounted price you have to add the discounted price when you have different variants you have to add it to all the product variants the different prices you see here we added only for the small size right here we added these things only for the size small we didn't add it for the sizes medium large and excel because here the price is 250 and the compared price field is zero that is the reason why when i choose the sizes medium uh, large and excel i am not able to see the discounted price in order to make it available for all the variants you have to do the same for all the different variants so for the medium size also i have to go and add this 200 250 the large size also i need to do the same okay so here let me just adjust the quantity so that it doesn't show sold out Now let us go to our storefront and see. Now you can see that since we added the discounted price and the original price for all the different variants, we have the discounted price in all different variants when we choose it at the front end also. So for small, for medium, for large and for Excel, we have the discounted price. And since we updated the stock, now we have the sale tag also over here. If you have any questions regarding this please ask us in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this thanks for watching